there are some people who are coming in, and this is what really um, adds to the complexity of things. We're coming in, and uh, they're hostile to our front desk. We've had people trash our lobbies, cursing, spitting, coughing on the faces of my employees if they don't get what they want. We've had to ramp up security. It's, it's a whole deal. I'm personally the type of person who runs towards the fire to help. So, yeah, these are absolutely, like, grueling hours, and, and um, I haven't been this sleep deprived in a long while, but there's also a deep sense of purpose that kind of keeps me going. So I've had a lot of my providers and their shifts in tears. It's more than any of us signed up for. I think it's a lot of very sick people all the time. I think there's a lot of emotional burden that the families can't be there with them, that people are dying relatively rapidly. And that I think takes an emotional toll. For me personally, I find that I'm pretty, um, you know, I wake up, I'm on, I'm on all day and then I'm off. And I find that, that when I feel more overwhelmed is either at night, now I'm alone without my family or when I wake up in the morning and I realize like this is reality, it's not, it's not a dream, I'm not, you know, waking up and it's all gone. And then I find myself feeling more emotional. But um, I think we're all operating at this very high stress level, high cortisol level. And, uh, you know, every now and then it come, you come down from that and you, it hits you. You know, healthcare workers are not an unlimited resource. We get sick too. And at a certain point, we're going to have a problem if the doctors aren't well and can't take care of people. So we need to protect all the people that are in to fight by staying home and staying far apart from other people. We only test people that we're gonna admit. So if you just come in and you're sort of about the people who shouldn't come to the hospital, if you're like that, you come in, you got a little cough, maybe you actually have a little, little pneumonia, and but you're young, healthy, otherwise fine, no fever, we send you home with no test because we just don't have the resources to, to do the test. And the fact is, if you test positive and you're not really that sick, there's no treatment for COVID other than vitamin T, which is time. <laughs> so, you know, you just need to just go home and, 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 and just like a flu, just go home and kind of take your Tylenol, your Gatorade and, and, um, and work it out.